Yo, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Ellis, my uh, FC24 player career. Um, we have three more games for you, including Peterborough, um, who we kick off uh, the episode against, um, even though we've just played them in the Carabao Cup and we won 1-0 away to them. So hopefully we can carry on our form and win more games, and hopefully I can carry on my form and play some good football. Anyway, let's get into some training. Uh, let's simulate that. We are now level 9, which is fantastic. We get three more skill points. Um, so let's apply those straight away. Pace, I could do. Um, I'm doing very well on the passing right now. So, uh, long and short passing. Let's do that. And let's also get vision up. Let's fully focus on that for now. Uh, we are 75 rated, so technically we are a non-rare gold right now, um, which is fantastic. 79 passing, 81 pace. Yeah, we're, we're doing good. Right, anyway, let's get into the match day. Um, we are right centre mid yet again, obviously. But yeah, let's get into it. Three more games here. Let's go. He has very much been the talk of the town going into this match. Well, since it's his first start here today, a big day, of course. What was that experience like for you, Stuart? Well, I certainly enjoyed my debut, but it can be the greatest or worst experience Ooh. of your life, depending how you play. But I'm sure he's going to do OK today and go on and have a very good career. Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from League One. It's Lincoln City, and they take on Peterborough United. Well, thanks, Derek. These fans will be fairly pleased with their team's start to this campaign. They've been efficient with the ball, they've looked threatening, and they've deserved their two wins. They'll certainly be tough to beat today. Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Bristol Rovers. They've scored the opener here with five minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, it's a 5-2-3 right. formation to start with, but expect a lot of rotation between the front three and the wing backs to break forward at every opportunity. Well, can they open up the defence here? Opportunity it is. Well, I think I just took out my own team. Any shadow of a doubt. <sighs> Rowan. It's Smith. Get it back if need be. Ellis. Shit. Let's keep it simple. Kwame Poku. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Ellis. Hackett. Not yet, not yet, not yet. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. It's not been a great start so far. Teammates to play it to. Well, this control let him down badly, and it's going to be a goal kick. I hate this formation. Ellis. Pressure oh my God! What is wrong with me? O'Connor. Now we have a goal to tell you about in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott. Yes, it's a goal for Leighton Orient. It's now 1-0 with 33 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. And space to attack. Oh, managing to beat him. Brilliantly blocked. Ah! Uh -huh. To the scored. What is wrong with my passing? So a throw in here. Now quick thinking to win it back. 
drum is a stinker right now. <sighs> Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. I dropped a stinker in that first half. There was no momentum. We didn't obviously have to see play any real chance except for those the one we created. Yeah, stinker. Stinky. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Let's get back out there and try and win this. We're at home. Well, got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second shit. half we have in store for us. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Oh, lucky, lucky. But... Can he play it in? impending danger but good defending we take a corner here, much better their aerial targets. well both teams have had substitutes swarming up and now both will rely on their respective benches and possession given away and the shot excellent block so that well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. I think it's off. It's off. Well, possibilities in the centre. No degree of difficulty Shit. at all for the keeper. We're getting involved more in this game now. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe. And there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Well, some pretty big news coming through from one of the other games. Let's hear about it from Alex Scott. Yes, it was a penalty for Shrewsbury Town. Hit it straight down the middle. The keeper died, but he had no Oh, chance. sorry. It's now 2-1 with 67 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Poku. Real chance. And there it is. What the a goal that is. What we a finish that is from Clark by Harris, line. by the way. Well, now it has. And will there be a response Ooh, Shit. Now? Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Yes, I'm at a risk of so. But the thing is, I'm knackered, so good. Nice. Oh, the threat is there. Oh, too much on that. Piece of goalkeeping. Well, almost at full time, and this is not really what the home fans had in mind. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts as always. Well, their attacking play has been too Oh, slow. why'd it's leave it? Great. And at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. Options in the middle. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Oh. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping Shit, for before man. the was kicked today. Defeat Absolute dog well, water. They look good in their opening couple of matches, but today Fuck, was a man. different story. They just lack that bit of energy. Hopefully, it's just a blip. Ah. <sighs> uh. We didn't play at all well. It's down to our formation. It's dog shit, man. We did one out of three objectives, which was um, the dribble one. Uh, but yeah, that was pathetic. 
absolutely perfect. Why do I still have boots? It's, it's just not good enough from us. Not good enough. Luckily, games come thick and fast in this league. Um, so, let's get back up on that horse. However, Portsmouth is going to be a tough, tough game. But yeah, let's let's get into it at Fretton Park, our first actual stadium um, in actual games. Hello and a warm welcome from the English South Coast. This has always been an atmospheric venue, Fratton Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you live coverage of this League One fixture. You know, we need to and they face play better than that. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greatest Oh, desire? come on, it do something be better than that. Oh, shit, I here. I'm absolutely knackered already. Anthony Scully. Stevenson. High quality defending. And a goal to tell you about in the Barnsley game. Here with the information, as always, is Alex Scott. It's a goal for Barnsley. It's now 1-0 with 11 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. And a goal kick will be next. O'Connor. Ellis. Ayoma. Hakib Adelakun. And they need to get tighter here. And making the run to the inside just wasn't going to give that ball away. That's effective pressure high up the pitch. Ah, oh, if this was off the left, so much better. The wrong technique. If he'd have hit it with power, he may have got a better result. That's a poor effort, really. Swanson. Not showing good defensive judgment. Moving forward effectively. Well, it came to nothing in the end. I did brilliant. I got blocked off, so I couldn't get to where I wanted to be. Swanson. Pat with it. Looking for the final pass that will open things up. Crossing into the middle. Pumps clear. And defensive play to be applauded. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. TJ Ayoma. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Really good attacking play. Look at that. Can he finish? Oh. Full marks to the keeper. Well, what a reaction from the goalkeeper. Such a good save in the end. I'm going to try something a bit different. He's driven in the corner. And the referee Pen. says penalty. Oh my God, I've got the penalty. Can he make it 1-0? Come on! I scored my first goal! Penalty. Yes, boy! I'm on penalties! Come on! Slotted away. Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before Come on. On the opposite side. A Needed really that. Good penalty. Needed that. One 
one nil then Come on. Half time then. That's going to be all for the first half here on the south coast. Okay, we're nearly there with uh, everything. So, but the thing is, it, result is more important. Result is more important. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Ellis, TJ Ayoma. What a ball that is, by the way. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Ah, oh, what was that? And possession lost by Portsmouth. What is it? Stevenson, Scully. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Magnificent defending. Yeah. Ellis. And Portsmouth have it back I, now. The thing is, how, how the fuck was I supposed to see him then? Anthony Scully. Moving it forward. A significant block following that cross. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Can they take advantage of the situation? Nearly, nearly. Well, a disappointing end to that break. Marlon Pack. That's yours, that's yours, that's yours. Oh. The pass was open. Read it well. The Russian things. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. But timely defending when it mattered. And a goal to tell you about in the Barnsley game. Here with the information as always is Alex Scott. It's another for Barnsley. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 76 minutes played. Can he finish? And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two goal lead now. Come on! Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Two 0 now, and back underway. Just ten minutes to go. In position here to protect the ball. Stevenson. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And out for a throw in. Maybe I held on to it for a bit too long. Pass. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Ref. Come on. Big 2 0. Goal and an assist. My first goal is a penalty. I, I wasn't expecting that. Because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. I'll tell you that though. Like, even I'm, I'm knackered in games. I'll, I'll, I'll be a willing runner. Absolutely. We needed that though, just to get back on to winning ways. And it was a, it was a good it was a good game it was a good game. We got three uh, skill points as well. I don't want to know if you don't have information. 
To be fair, we nearly completed everything we need to for the Oviedo one. Ugh. Anyway, player growth. Um, I kind of want to finish off, well, get there with passing. Short pass and long pass. However, I think what I'm going to do for this one is um, we'll put work on acceleration. And... No, we don't really cross much, except from corners. Um, head and accuracy, volleys, penalties, long shots, shot, you know, shot power. Nice. Still 75 raid, which is absolutely fine. Right, let's uh, advance to the next game, I guess. Shrewsbury at home. Oh, the problem is, we've got so many games in lower league. Um, oh, we're against we're against Premier League opposition. We're against Sheffield United next episode, um, which is nice. That's the EFL trade, but that's Carabao Cup. Nice, Shrewsbury Town. Nice. Okay, let's go. Match day. Yeah, look, we're just we're just knackered. We're just we're just knackered. This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? Well, the weather forecast yeah, has promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And coming up for you very shortly, live action from League One. It's Lincoln City, and they face Shrewsbury Town. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward, Could've got and then. Could've got possession three. as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. It's going to take an age to get forward. Hakeem Adelakun. It's it if you want. Opportunity. It's in! It's actually spilt in! Come on! Sometimes you just need to take a chance. Come on! This is what he does. Oh, I'm very happy. Because well, it's a nice little move. A touch on the ball. Lovely little pass it through. I just had to hit shot. it. And the keeper, luckily, spilt it into his own net. You don't, you don't win the raffle if you don't buy a ticket. Two goals in five games in the league. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Nice. There's just nothing behind that pass. Hakeem Adelakun. Now the attack looks promising. Ah, oh, lucky, well, lucky. To the defending. Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. It's a goal for Carlisle. They've scored the opener here with 23 minutes played. Thanks as uh. always, Alex. Right up for this game. And the pressure was sustained and coordinated. Oh, in with a chance. Oh, what an awful shot. Oh, no. I maybe should have just let him choose his own. Anyway. Superb effort to keep it in. Now the attack fizzled out. Oh, 
setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Check that was my bad. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And they do like to press whenever they can. Yeah, look to work towards position. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Well, that took confidence. Oh, it might be. Oh, oh it's happy. The bar was there. It didn't go in. And the attack fizzling out. If that went in, that would have been a beauty. Come on, half time. So it is. The first half story has been written. Oh, it should have been two. But it should have been three, actually. However, I'm happy with the performance so far. Come on. I to bring on the second half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Now, someone has scored in one of the other matches. Let's find out exactly who. Alex Scott will tell us. Yep, it's a goal for Leighton Orient. The score's level again now at 1 1 with 48 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Hakib Adelakun. Ellis. Ah, oh, I so tried to back. shape it. My bad. Ryan Bowman. Plenty of support here. And the cross smuggled away. Mitchell. And O'Connor here. The high Shit. press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. And a fine cross. Not the best clearance. Lasse Sørensen. And space here on the flank. Chance to play it in. Mm. Good looking sequence this. Can he finish? Oh, it's a goal, it's a goal. It's 2-0. Come on. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well balanced, and skillful. That's a top got the space to so go for it. Why not? Why not go for it? And the ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Number 21, Hakeem Adelico, coming onto the pitch. Number 19, Tyler Walker. The owner of a Winchester, with a Ryan Bowman. And a timely intervention. LJJ, please contact your nearest security guard. Thank Just you. 15 minutes remaining. Hmm. Brown. Oh, Mags, I win. Who can he pick out? And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Defended it well. Real chance. And that's a oh. straightforward stop. Well, no stopping him. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. O'Connor. Okay. Ellis. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages uh, here. Ah, sorry. And there goes the final whistle. Goal and an assist again. After a really poor first game, we have come back with two excellent wins. I think won two goals, six assists in six games. But obviously we'll check the stats uh, at the end of this, well, in about a minute's time.
Nice. I think um, I think I want to say we completed all our objectives for this game, which is obviously fantastic. Yeah, we did, um, and we're close now to another level, um, which we'll probably do at the start of the next game. Um, I've got six k in in the bank. I don't know why it, it, it highlighted that uh, activities. High match points, proud teammate. Uh, we need eight and a half thousand pounds to get a sponsor coach travel. Oh, we we, we are up uh, another level. Oh, nice. Um, in that case, oh, we've got notifications for something. Uh, I'm gonna put one on there, and then one on strength or reactions. Um, yeah, to be fair, I'll put it on that because, all right, we're 76 raid, which is fantastic. What notifications we got? Oh, uh, brown injury. Broken toe, three months. Wow. That's not what you'd like to see. Um, our next game is the Carabao Cup game, which is next episode. Um, if we go on standings, though, first and foremost... And we go to League One. We are currently sat top of the league. 11 goals, 2 conceded. We're doing well. Um, disappointed to lose at home to Peterborough. Um, especially as we can find them down in 16th place. Um, however, attention um, next episode doesn't focus on Cup. Because we have the EFL Cup uh, against Wigan, the third game. First game we do have a home game against uh, Sheffield United. Um, if we look at the stats before we end the episode, uh, our form is a 9.1. We've um, played six games, we've won five, lost one. We've got, got two goals now and six assists, so we're averaging a, a, an assist a game um, and goal one every three, which isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, rate, subscribe if you're new. Until next time, goodbye.